Dodgers hosting the Cubs. The Cubs are plus 165 on the money line. The Dodgers are minus 200. The over-under is nine runs. The Cubs getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 125, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And the Dodgers laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 105, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two or more. These are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to first pitch tomorrow, which is essentially 24 hours from right now. I suggest you use a site like Vegas Insider. This is not a paid promotion. It's just free information. Uh, they allow you to compare all of the sportsbooks pricings in one place, and you can shop around to see who gives you the most advantageous lines. Head-to-head, -head, Hendricks pitched once against the Dodgers this year. Four innings, five runs, five earned. They won 9-7. He struck out four. Bueller did not pitch against the Cubs last year or this year. Head-to-head, -head, they're 5-5 five five against each other. The road team is 6-4. The underdog is 6-4 on the money line, and the underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is 7-3. There have been two one-run games in their last 10. The over is 6-4, and, and the over 9 specifically is 5-4-1. The Cubs are 3-2 and two in Hendricks' last five starts. Four and a third innings pitched, six hits, three runs, 2.8 of which were earned, 2.8 strikeouts, 1.4 walks, 0.6 home runs, 82.2 pitches per game, 21.6 pitches per inning. For Bueller, the Dodgers are 4-1 and one in his last five starts. They've won his last three, and he's starting to get back into the swing of things. Four innings pitched, 5.6 hits, four runs, 3.4 of which were earned. He had one terrible start against the Rockies, which is inflating his numbers. Uh, 3.2 strikeouts, 2.2 walks, one home run per game. He gave up two in his last start. 82.4 pitches per game, 20 pitches per inning. Yet again, after this start, if he doesn't get hammered, his numbers are going to drop. The Cubs are 2-2 two two in their last four. 12 runs, 3 runs, 2 runs, 3 runs. 12 runs and a win, shutout and a loss, shutout and a loss, and then 2 runs and a win today against the Yankees. The Dodgers are 2-2 two two in their last four. 11 runs, 4 runs, 9 runs, 4 runs. 1 run and a loss, 1 run and a loss, 7 runs and a win, 4 runs and a win. I'm going to take the Dodgers with the money line. I'm taking the Dodgers laying the runs. And I'm going to lean under. Neither one of these teams have really been scoring lately. And considering the Cubs played a three-game series against the Yankees and that there was no games over five runs, that's saying something. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.